Hey there! Welcome back to For Real, It's Your Girl Anna. And today we're diving into something that might look scary at first, but it's actually totally fixable. So imagine this. You or your friend grabs your iPhone and suddenly the screen flashes red and it's stuck on emergency SOS. The time's glowing in red, your location's being shared, and nothing seems to stop it. Yikes, right? Don't worry, I got you. We're gonna go over every single fix from the quick ones to the slightly more technical ones. Super chill, super clear. You won't need to call tech support unless it's really the last resort. All right, let's fix this together. Before we jump into fixing anything, let's talk about why your iPhone might get stuck on emergency SOS. So this feature is actually a lifesaver, literally. Apple added it back in iOS 10. If something serious happens, like a crash or a medical emergency, your iPhone can call for help and share your location with emergency services and your chosen contacts. Super cool, but here's the thing. Sometimes it just gets stuck. Like you hang up with 911, but the phone stays in SOS mode. The screen keeps glowing red and your phone keeps sharing your location. And usually it's because of one of these things. You might have accidentally triggered it and didn't know how to turn it off. Maybe the buttons are jammed, your screen's being weird. A recent iOS update went sideways or you tried jailbreaking and it didn't go well. All right, first things first. If the screen isn't letting you hit that stop sharing or X button, your phone might just be dirty. Yep, that simple. Grab a clean cotton cloth and wipe down your screen, especially if there's sweat, water, or fingerprints. Try pressing the stop button again after that. Sometimes a smudge is all it takes to mess with your touch controls. If you've already ended the emergency call, but your phone still looks like a mini fire alarm, we need to turn off some settings. Unlock your phone, go to settings, scroll to emergency SOS, and once you're in there, you'll see two options, call with hold and release, call with three button presses, turn them both off. This will stop the phone from jumping back into SOS mode by mistake. After this, that red background on the clock should finally go away. You can always go back and re-enable those settings once things are calm. Even if the call's done, your iPhone might still be sending your live location. Here's how you stop it. After the call, your phone shows the medical ID screen. Tap Done in the top right corner. It'll ask for your passcode. Enter that. Then, tap on the red time display. Yeah, that red bar. You'll see an option that says, Stop Sharing Emergency Location. Tap that. A confirmation pop-up shows up. Hit Stop Sharing again. That should stop all emergency location broadcasts. Hey, real quick, if this video's already helped you out, don't forget to smash that like button and hit subscribe to For Real so we can keep bringing you straight up solutions without the tech talk. Got a question so far? Drop it in the comments and I'll get back to you. Okay, back to fixing your iPhone. Now let's do a good old fashioned power cycle. Open settings, go to general, scroll all the way down and hit shut down. Or if that's tricky, just hold down the sleep-wake button and the volume down button until you see the slide to power off screen. Slide it off, wait like 30 seconds, then turn your phone back on. Simple, but sometimes exactly what your phone needs to snap out of SOS mode. Still stuck? Let's try updating your iPhone through a computer. Sometimes a bug in an update causes weird stuff like this. Grab your USB cable and plug your iPhone into a Mac or PC. If you're on Windows or Mac OS Mojave or earlier, open iTunes. If you're on macOS Catalina or later, use Finder. When your phone shows up, select it. You'll either see an update button or check for update. Click it. If an update's available, hit download and update. Let the update run and don't unplug your phone until it's done. Let's try forcing a restart. It's different for each model, so listen carefully. If you have an iPhone 8 or newer, tap volume up, then volume down, then press and hold the side button until the Apple logo shows up. For iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, hold the volume down and the sleep-wake buttons together until the Apple logo appears. For iPhone 6 and 6S, press and hold both the home button and the side button until you see the Apple logo. Boom, let it restart and check if the red bar is gone. Okay, now we're stepping into the big guns. Recovery mode. You'll need a computer for this one. Plug your iPhone into the computer, launch iTunes or Finder, and follow those force restart steps again but keep holding the buttons until the screen shows a computer and cable icon. That means you're in recovery mode. Your computer will ask if you want to restore. Go ahead and click Restore iPhone. Heads up, this will wipe your phone. So make sure you've backed up to iCloud recently. If you can't get your phone to connect or restart, here's one last trick. You can remotely erase your iPhone using iCloud. Hop on a computer, go to the Find My iPhone portal and log in. Click all devices, select your iPhone, 
and hit erase iPhone. Enter your Apple ID to confirm and boom, your phone will reset remotely. This also clears that SOS status completely. If none of these steps work, it might be time to call in the pros. Contact Apple support and they can help sort it out, especially if it's hardware related. But chances are, one of the fixes we just walked through already did the trick. All right, that's it from me. Hope your iPhone is now back to normal and SOS free. If this video saved your day, do me a solid and hit that like, subscribe, and tap the bell so you never miss a for real fix. I'm Anna, and I'll catch you in the next one. Stay safe out there.